Papa here. It's Sunday night, and I'm gonna keep riffing on that cauliflower that I griddle here. I really like it. It's gonna have a little desert gold. It's gonna have some Parmesan and gonna baste in some butter and just make it delicious. At the same time, I have some beautiful Chairman's Reserve pork tenderloin, and I'm gonna season them up, and I'm gonna put them on Weber kettle with the slow and sear insert. I am such a fan of the SNS, and it's on our website. Uh, it's just, it makes the Weber kettle the most a versatile cooker. Well, it almost is already, but just the thought they put behind it and, and how well it cooks and the ability to have multiple heat is just awesome. So we have these ready. That's all I want to do. Pat them down, maybe let them sit for a few minutes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them on the, um, the Weber with the slow and sear on the indirect side and maybe cook them for about seven minutes then go roll them over. And when I get about 130, I'm going to put them on the searing side and rotate them quickly. I'm not gonna let them sit too long, but I'm trying to get some malleard effects and caramelization. So I'm gonna take it to about 140, which is how I wanna take the pork. Uh, it'll residual heat climb up to 145. One of the biggest problems with pork is based on the old directions of 160, 175, they overcook pork forever. So at 145 and it creeps up a few degrees is absolutely perfect. So, I'll see you when I put it on the grill. So I got the blue hog charcoal, just perfectly. Put it in here. Seven minutes, roll it. This is gonna be pretty fun. <coughs> He's cauliflower ready. A nice little base. I use safflower oil a lot. Okay, I have the oil the way I like it. Cauliflower's going down. Okay, what we're going to do, there's some oil here, you notice I haven't seen the movie yet. I think it's going to rush. Oil, some glue, but that's not all we're going to do for glue. You're going to see, I got some amazing glue. I got some desert gold, which is just desert island, really. Nope. This melted butter, I told you I'm sneaking here. More festive fun. Let's cover it, I'll be right back. We're ready to flip it over. Done. I always let you know my trick, okay? Don't try this at home with your bare hands. I'm a professional. A little butter on this side. Oh, put more of the gold on this side. The chicken is real fun, unless you're cleaning up the griddle tomorrow. The farmer's on it. I mean, honestly, is there anything that you can't add the farmer's on to? My feeling is no. It's really been about 20 minutes. Now, once I start bringing some flame up, I'm gonna start turning it. But I'm gonna hope a little bit of the fork juice goes in there, it's a very lean cut. But I hope it gets in there and kind of incites the uh, core. Here we go. Turn this bad boy off. I'm gonna go inside and cover this with foil and make the sauce. Make the mustard cream sauce. First thing I'm gonna do is get this pan a little bit hot. Boil. Some butter. Let's start with a finely diced shallot, or as Casey Ball calls them, shallots, that desert gold. 
sesame, lemon, garlic, all kinds of great stuff. Now, by the way, I love these little uh, um, broth bombers, little chicken broth. Let that reduce a little bit. And we'll add the final two ingredients. Here comes the mustard. A little more than a teaspoon. Looking good. It's okay to taste it every once in a while. I got gloves on. I'm a happy guy. Very scientific. Some heavy cream in there. And here we go. these bad boys and girls up. Chairman's Reserve is very special. How special? Don't tell. Do my plate first. Go. Pretty happy with this.